gods have smiled upon me. All right, it's a Friday morning, not my usual Saturday morning, but it's only because there's a huge rummage sale that I wanted to go to and I wanted to hit it on day one. So this morning, TJ is sending the kids off to school, ha ha. And I get to go do my favorite thing, which is find stuff to flip online. Guess what I forgot again? <laughs> Dang it. My Ikea bag. Ah, I always forget it. It's like a little Eddie Bauer camera bag. Belt bag. This could be kind of cool actually. Let me look up comps. Let's hang on to this. Sad music. So close and yet so far. <laughs> Oh no, this is interesting. This is a love pontoon bag. And it looks like it's basically yeah. brand new. So let's go for it. This could also be something. I looked up comps. Versace perfumes. Or perfume. <laughs> I feel like I said that the way TJ would say it. Yeah, this is in really clean condition. Maybe 25 bucks for this. So this is kind of cool. This is a corksicle invisible tumbler. Um, I think you freeze an ice cube. This is, I don't know. I will have to do more research on this. But, um, I think it's a solid, decently well. And again, this is like pretty much new. So let's go ahead and grab it. So I know this could be something, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with that. Um, how cool is that? Very cool. Yeah, what is it? Oh, tin bale irons. Okay. All right, future Ashley here, and I'm going back over this footage. And I looked up these tin bale irons. The audio wasn't great here, but. There's so many of them that I was really optimistic that I could sell either the whole lot for a lot of money or divide it into two and sell them each for 40 bucks. Yeah. Is this where I pay for everything or no, where do I do it? Right 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 oh, I do it in there. Oh, great. Yeah, this okay. Is just for the okay. Hi. I am. Awesome. Okay. These bags and then there's stuff in this. Okay, let's do 12 for all of it. All right, sounds great. There you yeah. go. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks for the support. Have a good one. Of course. And then Here's our dates for our September sale. Oh, great. Well. Thank, Thank you so one. much. Absolutely. All right. Ones. You know, it's funny because I used to sell all kinds of stuff. Like I would get, all, like the stuff I got today, random stuff, anything that looked like I had good comps on Amazon or eBay. And then I kind of niched down into clothing and shoes because it was just, I had such a solid system for listing it and selling it. But on days like today when I'm like, <laughs> I like feel bad because I like was telling TJ like I need to go this would be so great and it wasn't so great and got the kids off to school with me a little bit of a sacrifice I feel like I have to make it like worth it so that's kind of why I grabbed <laughs> more stuff today but I still think we did really well all right so I do still have like an hour before I need to get home I'm gonna go ahead and hit up one more thrift store it's savers, which can be very overpriced, but hey, maybe I will get lucky with you guys. Cross your fingers for me. I really like selling the Fisto, and these are on the less expensive side. So these should do great. Or we'll grab these. Um, maybe 40 bucks. So these are on the pricier side, but I think with this tartan pattern, they'll sell for like 50 bucks. So even for 14, and I do have a coupon actually. Yeah, I think these will do great. We got the Burks that are very worn, nine dollars almost. Darn, even in really good condition, I think nine would be too much. Okay, so this is a brand. This is Tahari. Retails for a lot. I I cannot move this brand for the life of me. And I've picked it up so many times, going, oh, this time it'll sell. And it just sits and takes forever. So I just, I don't grab it anymore. Okay, so here we have this little hobo wristlet. Hobo is actually a really expensive brand, surprisingly. The original hobo. So I think for $3, this is worthwhile. Yeah, like you can see, I mean, new 56, but even pre-owned 30 bucks. So I think this would be great. Oh, this is one of my absolute favorites. Fly London. 
And please be a reasonable price, 14 bucks. You know, even for that price though, with a coupon, these will do really, really well. I'll have to look up the style name, but yeah, these are great. Okay, so these are like brand new, and they are Charles David. It's a brand that sold at Nordstrom, and these are like little peep toe sock booties. I'm seeing really good listings. We will see how they sell, but for 12 bucks, I, I do think it's like worth the risk, plus a discount, so hey, let's try it out. All right, so we've got some Jack Rogers. I, uh, you know, for $10, I don't know. I I don't think this is fast moving enough for me, so I do think I'm gonna leave it behind. But you guys can tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. <laughs> All right. So we've got some Uggs, and they're in not great condition. And do I feel like cleaning them up? I don't know. All right. Let's just get it. I'll clean them up. I think it's worth it. Okay. So these are Kizix. These are expensive. Can I clean these? This would be such a project. Okay. I'm gonna bring them home just for the sake of this video to see if I can clean this up, how well I can clean them up. So I'm, I'm gonna do it for you guys. Okay, this caught my eye because it felt nice. Great, made in Italy. We're gonna look this up. I've not heard of this brand. I know these. Neha is great. Um, another pair though to kind of clean up. But these are awesome. Wow. So I really like Solomon. And these kind of like trail running shoes are great, but they're in not so great condition and they're kind of expensive. So I'm gonna pass. But if I saw this like at a yard sale or something, I would 100% grab it. I'm so consistent. <laughs> okay, outdoor research is great, but not for that price. Dang it. I just wanna find one Lulu item today. That's it. I just wanna find one. Okay, we have Athleta. And it's from just last year. And it is really cute. Okay. I see we get it. If you guys have been following, you know that I'm always looking in the scrub section for this brand. This is Figs. Oh, five bucks. That is great. These are in good condition too. Figs is very expensive and sells well. So I wonder if I can find the top. Maybe I'll find the matching top as well. Quick shout out to the greatest movie ever. If this were my size, I'd buy it. <laughs> what have I done? Only got like 20 minutes left. So I'm, I'm hustling you guys. I gotta find some good stuff quickly. Guys, the thrift gods have smiled upon me. I found it just in the nick of time. How much is it? It's $13, but guess what? I have a coupon. I think I've said that 10 times in this video. Yeah, here it is. This might be a keeper for me, actually. It's the right size. All right, here's the Lululemon top. It's just perfect. I thought for a second it would be like maybe too short for me, but it's actually just right. I think this is the uh, Swiftly Run, or the Run Swiftly Long Sleeve 2.0, and it's like the race length. Yeah, it's really cute. So this will be in my closet for a while, and then when I'm done with it, I'll just sell it then. That's what's so great about like <laughs> when you resell and you keep some of the stuff that you find, you can always just sell it later when you're done with it. All right, we have some Derek Lamb, very different jeans. They seem to be in basically new condition. I wouldn't be surprised if these retailed for like $200. I don't know what they'll resell for, but I think I'm worth picking up. Okay, these are the Derek Lamb jeans. You guys, is it bad that I kind of love them? <laughs> what? They're so comfortable. Wait, I like thought these would be kind of a joke, but I actually kind of like them. <laughs> Uh, TJ will hate these, but I think I might actually hang on to them for a while. Cool pants. They're a little different. I don't know, isn't this like in style, kind of? Like, different is good. I wear the same thing all the time. Uh, chime in in the comments. You, you guys could talk some sense into me if it's not uh, my style. So, these made well, of course, you know, hit or miss, but the stovepipe jean in a better size, 29, would be good. These would be great. Um, and they're in like, new condition that's just too much so we are going to pass on it okay actually just kidding i bought them but for me <laughs> we'll try them on we'll see if they fit okay because hey that's like a good meanwhile's a great brand and they're in like new condition so fingers crossed that they even fit they may not <laughs> guys we have some more lulu but this might be an instance where i pass because this style of tank just doesn't 
I can't. Morally, ethically, spiritually, I don't think I could pass it up, but I don't expect it to sell for like more than 10 or $15. I've got a Sundance new with tags. This is the newer label. So if, even for, you know, 12 bucks, I think this is gonna be a great flip. Hey, two and it's true. Two of them. Nice. Okay. I just got really excited, but I don't know for sure. You guys are gonna find out with me. It says Veronica. But what's hiding underneath that little dry cleaning tag? If it's beard, then I will be very happy. Well, and I can't do this one handed. Okay. Drum roll, please. Oh, come on. There she is. Veronica beard. Oh my gosh. For just seven dollars. Oh my gosh, that is so exciting! Very, very, very cool. Hey guys, one, two, three more. Five, and it's true. Um, yeah, I will be picking all of these up. And the benefit is, I think most of them are the same size. I could just do one listing um, for all of them, so that's so easy. Okay, so this Maywell square neck top is new with tags. Um, so it's a little on the pricier side, but I might just keep it for me. So maybe we'll do like a little Maywell try on today. <laughs> All right, as promised, here's the Maywell outfit. So these are stovepipe jeans. I don't love them, they don't fit right. I just don't, I don't know. I don't think they're very cute to be fully honest. And I don't like ankle length jeans personally. And then this is the top again. <laughs> I just don't think it's very flattering on me, so I don't, I don't know if we're gonna keep it. I think I might actually just end up selling it. But yeah, I do think it's cute, and I love that it's new with tags and that I was able to get it for pretty cheap, but we will pass this time. Time for the best time of the day. Say the line. Treat time. Yay! And you guys have been so funny. As I've been going through this soda drive-thru, a lot of you outside of Utah are like marveling at it. It's so funny because it's really common here in Utah, but it does hit different. Soda from a drive-thru, like with a cookie, it hits different and it's so good. Thank you. And Perfect, thanks so much. You too. Oh God, it's so good. It's so good. The perfect treat after a very successful thrift slash rummage sale day. Okay, we're back at home and I'm in my kid's bathroom because we're gonna clean all these shoes. Not all of them, but a big chunk of them. And I'm questioning, this is the moment that I question like why did I buy so many shoes that need to be cleaned? But maybe it's a good learning opportunity for you guys. I'll show you some of the products that I use and we'll clean these together. All right, for the Veja sneakers, I'm gonna be using some suede cleaner. Um, you spray it on and then you brush off the dirt. We're gonna see how clean we can get these. I'm gonna grab this brush. It's like a suede, a special suede brush and see if that helps get some of these little discolorations off. And then one thing that I love for like the bottom of shoes is called the pink stuff. And just like get a little toothbrush and kind of wet. You guys are gonna like watch the magic <laughs> as it just gets, and be careful, only get it on like the soles of the shoes. We don't wanna get it on the fabric, but it cleans it amazingly well and so fast. So here's the cleaned one. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, but we definitely improved the situation. And then this is the other one that I have not cleaned yet. So you can see how much the pink stuff kind of makes a difference, especially with the soles. So yeah, I'm just gonna work on this one and then we'll keep, <laughs> we'll keep trucking along. Okay, so these will kind of be the doozy. We've got some cleaning to do. These are waterproof, so I'm actually not super scared to clean up this leather. Um, but I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'm gonna use the same kind of method as before, but I am gonna be using some like leather lotion to try to soften these up. All right, so it's the next day. It took me a long time to clean up those shoes, you guys. Like I was kind of going crazy. Uh, I don't know if it was super worth it spending all that time, but it was worth it for the video because look at the difference. So these are the Ugg boots. 
Look at how nice they look. This is thanks to the Allen Edmonds shoe polish as well as the leather lotion, but I think they look beautiful. They cleaned up really well. And then we have the Veja sneakers, which I think also cleaned up pretty well. I mean, not perfect, but we're not looking for perfect here. I think they'll sell great. Last but not least, so the Kizik's were in very bad condition, but I think they cleaned up really, really well. I spent a ridiculous amount of time cleaning these, so I don't, I don't know if it was worth it, but it was fun. It was fun to like take something that was kind of trashed and totally redeem it and give it a second life. And totally redeem yourself. <laughs> I did replace the laces, so that definitely helped, but just scrubbing it, getting some of that stain remover and uh, scrubbing it with a toothbrush really, really helped. All in all, you guys, we have hundreds and hundreds of dollars of profit here from one really successful day. I'm so glad you guys tagged along with me. Thank you again, and I'll catch you in the next one.